Oh, I think, I think it's working. There we go, it's working. All right, uh, I might be able to get permission to collab on Twitch. Anyone on Twitch would you like to collab at some point? Um, honestly, if schedules allow it, and schedules are usually the biggest pain in the butt for most things, um, honestly, I'd be open to any co collabs uh, schedule providing. Okay, all that's left is I gotta update stream info, and I gotta break up the old, uh, the old GameCube controller. Controller locked in. I just got an update. When do you want to try? Uh, DM me that and DM me the details on that, and we can uh, bedangle with that more. Hopefully. Hopefully is true. Pikmin one. And done. Alright, so stream update. I think they should let me stream since I need to stream to be able to get links for speedrunning. Yeah, that that would definitely help. Actually, I'm just going to edit the info one more time. sure information is right for Twitch because they get angry if I don't do that. Granted, I've been asking for probably years. I mean, if you can, then if you can, then absolutely. You gotta make it home. But you can't make it alone. Meet the Pikmin. Oh, I love this game. Uh, this is this is such a nostalgic game for me. All right, so Pikmin time. Okay, I go run for the cops. Have I played Pikmin? Uh, I have done playthroughs of all three games, getting all the, getting all the true endings. Uh. Am I saying that I'll be good enough to do a no-death run? No. Also, Jad, why are you running from the cops? GTA? Dang, I wanted to see first reactions. No, it's unfortunately not first reactions, it is. NFS game. Ah, that would do it. Oh, uh, there goes the dolphin.
please just pretend to react. <laughs> oh my god, guys! I think the better question is, is will I reference you-know-who? The dolphin has fallen. Oh boy. My name is Captain Olimar. While traveling through space, my ship was struck by a meteor. Oh, can you guys believe it? I must have blacked out, and I woke up on the surface of a weird planet. With so many parts lost, the skeletal hull of my beloved dolphin is a painful sight. The engine is gone. I'm stranded. To make matters worse, my atmospheric sensors indicate the planet's environment contains a high level of poisonous oxygen. My life support systems can function for only 30 days. I can repair but if I can't repair the dolphin before then No. Better not think about it. I must find the missing ship parts. Go into lurk. <laughs> Fair? The first of many. A strange thing has appeared before me. I had barely begun my search when it reared as soon as, as if it was waiting for me, and then dropped a single seed. What is it? Is it alive? Is it a machine? It resembles a vegetable on my home planet that we call an onion. I shall call this an onion too. Onion the plant. Where the purple is not invented yet, sadly. So, question for chat. What's your favorite picking color? Mine's pink. The seed that the onion drop took root in the soil and now has produced an adorable little sprout. The sprout emits a strange light. It sways back and forth without the benefit of wind. I cannot help but it is calling, think it is calling to me. I'm compelled. I have to approach it and press A. Blue? You know what? Blue's a fair out. Blue is a fair and valid option, and I, I respect. I like blues. The first of many. Pink or purple? Uh, both of those are really good options, to be honest. Extraordinary! When I plucked the sprout, it turned out to be a living creature, and not a plant. Picking it has done no mere visible damage. Actually, pink or yellow. Yellow's a very good option. Probably yellow. Yellow's always good. It just stands there, staring at me. Its shape is still to the pick-pick brain carrots I love so much. I believe I should call this a Pikmin. Here I am, stranded on a toxic planet, fighting to survive, and yet I'm intrigued. I must research this fascinating creature. So try and grab it and throw it with A, and call for my son with B. Perhaps I'll react to the C stick and X as well. Uh, you put the... Switch... You put the stream in the Switch version, did I? I didn't think there was a difference. Let me double check that real quick. Uh, and it's stream info... Up, oh, yep, you're, you're right. There are two different versions of that. Uh, Alright, that's that's fixed now. Okay, the following controls appear to allow me to. Okay, now I can change things. That's much better. Pikmin in the GC, Pikmin 1 is the Switch. I forget that. Alright. Now that's fixed. 
I will admit, the one thing that I'm really glad that every iteration of Pikmin after this changed, uh, was the, um, was the, I, was the number indicator for everything. Astonishing, Pikmin has gained some more seeds. The small red pellet the Pikmin harvested after cutting down a flower appears to have some type of food that they can propagate more Pikmin. I say that five times fast. The Indian seems to be some sort of incubator. Needless to say, I'll study the strange life form more. Oh god, I, I love this game. It is it is such a good game. Definitely feels funky after so long. But, you know. for me to wait for these pictures. Guys. I left you for that red pellet. Oh. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be one of them days, isn't it? <laughs> in the position, the ever-annoying box that always drives me up a wall. <laughs> the gunner is curious as children. They form groups to perform tasks that would be impossible for an individual. The glimmer of help has begun to shine within my heart. I can make use of their skills. Perhaps I can fix my ship. I can sum up. Yep, uh, yep, yeah, it's just a... Computer control so far. One part that if it didn't land nearby, we would have been screwed. Amazing, there's no mistaking it. My ship's engine rests before my very eyes. By a stroke of pure luck, I have already stumbled upon the most important piece of my damaged craft. Fate has smiled upon me. But how about I get back to the dolphin? 
Well, Mara, I think you already know the answer to that solution. Huh. Question. Crap. I don't think there's any more pellets around that I can... so used to like going through the rest of the game as fast as I do that like getting back to the slow first day just always I don't know it's like the first time playing it was always fun but now going back to the first day when it's all slow it's like uh speed up I wanna go fast I wanna move I want to shmerv now we have our new back Slightly fixes the uh, slightly repairs itself. I love the little victory victory sound. I love it so much. Oh glorious! With the help of these Pikmin, I've taken a huge step back towards home. My ship can once again lift off. The glimmer of hope is beginning to burn more brightly. But what has become the rest of my parts? That search begins tomorrow. go into the sunset for the first time in many. Day one since impact. I have sent on the to launch the dolphin. I was surprised to see the onion lift off with me. Perhaps the Pikmin cannot survive overnight on the planet's surface. Or have they merely decide to join me for other reasons. Either way, it seems they will be able to help me again tomorrow. The elephant is missing 29 parts. I can't recover them all. I never may be able to return home to feed my family and plan a hockey tape. The analysis shows life support systems will function for only 29 more days. How can I how can I repair my dolphin in such a short time? A dense forest is visible on the surface below. As it holds the keys to my survival, I name it the Forest of Hope. And I explore it tomorrow. That's a first good day. I'd say that's a pretty good first day. Oh, so I hope the uh, absolute reading of every all the longs doesn't get annoying. I, I actually enjoy reading all my dialogue. He's a very interesting fellow. Forest of Hope.
and Alden has returned to the surface along with the Pikmin's onion. Being alone on this strange planet makes me so uneasy. So I shall call the Pikmin out of the onion. Stand beneath it and press the light and press A. Of it, and while things are just still pretty slow in game. Has. Probably not a big idea at the moment. That was such a bad, unfortunate death. No. It's a dwarf bulboard. Oh god, it's it's kind of one of them days, isn't it? But, um, as I was gonna say, I know we just recently got, like, you know, Pikmin 1 and 2 on Switch, and we got... already had Pikmin 3 for a while, we're getting Pikmin 4 in less than 10 days. But, like, you know, has anyone had, like, any, you know, itching of, like, a total, like, you know, HD from the ground up, like, remake of... Remake of Pikmin 1. Like, I know that's probably, like, really unrealistic, but, like, it would be really cool. Why, it's the Eternal Fuel Dynamo. It has unlimited energy supply. I won't have to worry about saving electricity anymore. Let's make my fights for survival a bit easier. Like, um... I think a good example would be, like, you know, we get, like, Pikmin 1, but, like, redone with, like, Pikmin 4's or graphics engine, or heck, even, like, Pikmin 3's graphics engine. Pikmin... Everybody out. Everybody.
it's gonna, it's just gonna be slow. Nothing to do with this. At least until he can get yellows. I'm gonna try the right thing, uh, the red to go. That's unfortunate because I, I I really feel bad for the yellows. The fog has indicated the coming of noon. From now on, I must pay close attention to the sun meter on my monitor. Choose my actions accordingly. It's best for me to review my monitor's data. Yep. Suggests this one has somewhat circle, has in somewhat circles, could be considered very large ears. It looks like it made way less than other Pikmin. What other ways might it be different from red Pikmin? No, no matter. They are obviously quite similar, so I shall call this one a Pikmin as well. Pikmin are such an anomaly in terms of like biology. Can I just be honest? Like they're so. Like in all the best ways. And then turn off the field I know. No fuel dynamo, this should light things up for me. No more candles. Two parts. Two and three more. Cre increase the ship's capabilities. Cover them. Perhaps these cracks indicate that there's tremendous power with further research. <laughs> yeah, uh, it means they go boom.
All right. Glowing rocks seem to be built to convey to the explosive stones. Perhaps they know that these stones can be used for powerful weapons. The bomb rocks are dangerous, so I must take care to use them. They should also be able to blast open stone walls to block the path. So maybe they'll use them against some of the wild creatures. this, I'll be able to see all the nearby ship parts in a single glance. It just... I'll just press Y to check it. It fills me with great hope. Okay, yeah, they're going the right way. Raise up some more yellows. And then, if I have enough time... Apparatus counteracts the shaking and swaying that normally occurs during flight. It smoothly sails with this in place, usually. Progress. Important radar can detect the missing pieces. The other missing pieces. The radar can be added to my monitor, and I can press Y to view. C zooms in and out, and this will surely help me with my remaining parts. Found three. And my clock has indicated the approach of sunset. 
Pikmin waiting, but it means the dolphin and the onion will probably enter the onions on their own. But if I don't call my group, if I don't call the stragglers that added to my group, they may not be able to get back in time. I'm sure that the Pikmin still planted are safe, but I am somehow somewhat concerned about leaving Pikmin to fend for themselves in the darkness. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I don't feel like leaving my Pikmin out to die, so we're just gonna... Make the executive decision to round up the remaining Pikmin that are in the ground. Oh, we got some bugs! I had a feeling they'd make it back in time. Alright, we've got three ship parts. The shock absorber, this nifty little device, counteracts the shaking and swinging experience in typical space flight. Now finally have the map, and uh, yeah, no, um, we have all of our Pikmin either at base or yeah, they're either at base or they're in uh, in the onion. I just made yet another Pikmin related discovery. It seems when there's about Seems when I was about to exceed 100 Pikmin on the field, the onion stopped expelling seeds. Yet the total number of Pikmin continued to climb. Seems as once there's 100 Pikmin on the field, the subsequent seeds get stored inside the onion. Thus, no more than 100 Pikmin can be in the field at one any one time. Alright, so there we go. That, I'd say that's a pretty successful day, too. Three parts down, one to go, and we got, uh, plenty of yellows grow. And only, and sadly, two casualties. But no forgotten. They might be death, but I will not, I will do my damnedest to make sure that they don't succumb to the, <laughs> succumb to the nocturnal monsters. Two days since impact. It appears that many of my ship's parts have waved in this region. If I can just get, if I can just recover parts of my radar, which I already have, I should be able to use it to the radar screen. How that would improve my chance of survival? You will know what the location of other parts are. Yet, there seems to be many hostile life forms here. If I take any, if I get attacked and get my spacesuit damaged, I must return to my ship, stand up on it, and press A to make repairs. As I explore, I must better pay attention to my suit's damage meter in the bottom left corner of the screen. One hundred and eleven raised, two lost. And back to the forest to help for round two. For now. some reds in the ground, so I'll start plucking them. Okay, 
Okay, so one yellow got left behind back at base. I was wondering where that was from, but it's fine. It's fine. Stop, stop, stop with the pallet posies. I will admit that, like, one thing that I very much enjoy, like, as a like, storytelling mechanic, is that you can tell if you can play the game. Uh, because, you know, very very early on, like, the Pikmin all act like. Let's be honest, all the Pikmin act pretty dumb in Pikmin 1. <laughs> Oh god. Or at least almost to that. Yeah, it's uh, not good. Okay, so, um... <laughs> we got that down. Three more bomb rocks. Extraordinary bolt. But I am sorry to hear that you got sick on that man. I don't I, my brain only now recognize that. I bought this an incredible bolt because the salesman told me it was of an extraordinary quality when it was in, indiscriminately of to the average person. Exactly what makes it so extraordinary is a secret, but look at it, it's extraordinary. Yeah, Omar ain't the brightest cookie. Um, but as I was saying earlier, uh, like, one thing that I really like is just, like, you know, uh, storytelling throughout the game is that, um... God, love of God, please stop playing <laughs> three pellet posy. This bolts, bolt holds the kind of value that only a true connoisseur can understand. We found five parts, increasing the dolphin's capabilities. I can now search a wider area. Oh, I 
I love- Can I just say, I love seeing the dolphin, like, slowly pack itself together the more you find of it. series like gets further and further into like you know uh, game audio a little loud I can in fact turn it down a bit all right let's try that that should be a bit better Kill the baby. There with the baby. That is pretty good movements. Alrighty. Warp's down. Now. I'm just gonna let these guys take back whatever they want. Who gets what? Don't really care. We're just gonna let them all go as, uh, go as it goes. But meanwhile, we're gonna get first of the optional parts. I found the Nova Blaster. This emits a dazzling burst of light capable of destroying almost anything. I'm not exactly sure about this, but the promotional brochure claims that at first, that its burst can travel in the currents of space time, smashing rifts through stars and into the rifts of space. Olimar, that sounds incredibly dangerous. Who let you buy this? This really wasn't your life. You know what? Well, we have the opportunity. Get that back. the party to show up. And, uh, I think that what I'm gonna do is blast down the last stone door in the area. It's the last big stone door that I can think of. And I'll get the normal blaster back. I'm just, uh, got some work down for me when I come back. This is a weapon of such incredible destructive force that it can blast stars into tiny pieces. It has a strange allure. Now we're covered six parts. If we find six more, we can increase, increase the ship's capabilities again. Well, darn. That really's got that, uh, 
We got the thing that I wanted done more so than anything else, and that was just getting the Nova Blaster and the, uh, the Extraordinary Bullet. And then we'll think about it just because we have it. down. Let's get that big yellow 20 pellet. Mm. Alright, and I think with that, we're going to go to sunset. Because there's not really much left in the forest of hope that we can really do at the moment. We're just kind of, um, stuck. But, uh, we won't be for long. Now we're getting into my least favorite area of Pikmin 2. Not Pikmin 2, Pikmin 1. I. Oi! Oi! And back. Welcome back. Welcome back. We are finishing up day three. Three days since impact. I now added yellows to my list of discoveries. These creatures can move bomb rocks. So perhaps I can use them to blast down rock walls and open up new regions. Red and yellow Pikmin, as well as bomb rock carriers, break the squads when dismissed with X or when I grab one with holding A. We lost another Pikmin today. One for one for every day we've been here, but I mean, I'd say we're doing pretty good. <laughs> but we have found the forest navel. Dom, would you want to do like maybe Mario Kart or Party? Um. Honestly, for a big, like, community day, I would be totally down for Mario Kart. Or, of course, I could train you in Smash Bros. Uh, I think Mario Kart would be... I think Mario Kart would be totally fun. Uh, okay. Fourth name of time. Oh, boy. That is a cool. I'd have to think about it more. A lab thing from Mr. Sleeper. Hi. Karting with some Mario Karting as a community doesn't sound so bad. Uh, that's bomb rocks, that's rocks. Okay, so the first things first that I want to do. I'm just to get a my Pikmin on that. Fall down here. This, this works. 
man. GameCube Pikmin AI. It's a thing. <laughs> Isn't it such a good thing? You could be my skill. I could... I was making people, like, worship me in the chat during the event for some reason. I mean, you are pretty good from what I saw. This thing ch Found the automatic gear. This thing chokes right along with its own pace. It makes piling much easier, giving me point... Time to con concentrate on the finer points of space travel. Okay, well, since the uh, bug is going to show his uh, other look here, we're just going to let him do his thing. But I mean, I'd be totally down for like, you know, getting some people together for a tournament, but I would definitely need like a bigger audience because, uh, that, <laughs> I'm not as big as I would like to be right now. But we'll get there one day. It's like raising up an army of Pikmin. We'll get we'll get to the big army one day. It's just, it just takes a bit. Is the pigment of yet another color? Here, this one's cheeks are what appears to be a set of gills. The strain suggests to me that the blue type of pigment can enter water without any trouble whatsoever. Only one way to find out, you know, other than the fact it's standing literally right in water. I think I play a pretty good hit. cracks running through. I tried to fill them with dirt. Hoping that'll be alright. Seven parts down. So they're doing something and being a bit more productive. Yeah, but right now today is just gonna be we're not gonna get a whole lot of parts, we're just gonna get Pikmin raised up as we can because we are going to need <sighs> I'd say just for safety net sake we're gonna need about a hundred blue Pikmin. I mean that seems to be about what I normally end up going with in Pikmin ones. Like it's usually about like 50 to 70 yellows and about 100 to 120 of the other two colors. Well, that's no disrespect to like, you know, you know, blue, you know that it's just I don't end up usually needing them. Uh, yellow, it's just... How Pikmin 1 is, you don't end up needing a whole lot of yellows. They wouldn't get their big starring role upgrade until Pikmin, you know, 2. I think I could sit... 
could say I'm a pretty mean random. I mean, I, I saw you, you do, and you do. Bug to show up at some point. Out of freaking nowhere. Okay. sweating not in the game but in real life. I, again, I fully believe it, my dude. That was the intense as heck match. And then I left some Pikmin down there. God dang it. You pick me. Oh, 
I don't do this as an excuse, I swear, but I lost the items and full smash meter. Both got C dot. Both kills C dots got me where with item kills me at 60 during the first one. Uh, it happens. Especially with items. Always with items. Then I lost the floor player to Diddy forward smash, but that was entirely my fault for SDing. Hey, look, sometimes that just it just happens. All right, we got uh, forty blues. Get the antibiotic filter. Out of the water. Okay, so day four wasn't as uh, as super productive as I would have liked, but 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 we got blues. We got about sixty. Uh, not sixty. We got about forty blues, and we are at least getting the anti anti dioxin filter out of there. And not a single Pikmin left behind again. Like five lost to so many lost to combat. Deep in the cave I discovered in the forest I encountered blue Pikmin. These blue fellows have somewhat something resembling gills on their cheeks. And they appear to be amphibious. Surviving on both air and both in water and on land. Wonders of nature never cease to stun me, even in this alien land. Ugh, yeah, 26 lost. Solely, sole, the vast majority of solely the Wallywogs. Oh, I hate that. Make it better. But also, so does the Pikmin AI. Okay, so... Now we have all the Pikmin colors. Um... Probably... Hmm. I'll spend one more day in the Forest Naval, and then I think after that, uh, just because I have to get ready for bed and for work, I'm going to call stream after we finish up our second exploration of the Forest Naval. Okay, so... All goes well. Yes, the antibiotic filter didn't move. Uh, as many reds as I can, which is most of them. Uh, 
go forward. to base to meet up with the pit main team whenever they get the uh, the oxen filter set up and I'm gonna grab uh, our one little blue victim. get like one of the teleposies up here as a We can just immediately knock out the bread bug. Anti-deoxid filter. The laws of deep space require all ships to eliminate all pollutants. There we got Hearts down. Well, the bridges are done. Space float. This float is an absolute necessity for any pilot who lacks skill at swimming in space. So, you know, I have a feeling that might be Alamar a little bit. Swimmer like me has no need for something like this, but my motto is always be prepared. Really, it's just for emergencies. Just kind of done with the grid. The other. 
another bridge. Yes. Now about 50. Perfectly smooth. I don't. I don't get smooth sometimes. Lost two more. Okay. So good there. Oh, this thing. Turn any of my Pikmin into Puffman. Taking it down, we get the Omega Stabilizer. I absolutely must have this piece if my battered ship is to ever fly straight again. It has steered me through countless deep space storms. That, and it looks rather cool. There is enough. There's another Pikmin back there. No, you idiot. No. I know it's boss loot, but don't. It's not worth it. Not that guy. I've never had any good luck with that. With a... okay, gravity jumper. I think I'm literally one Pikmin short. Come on, buddy. Nope, I am exactly one Pikmin. If I had one left... Too short. I thought I was exactly on brand. Nope. I'm just I'm just dumb. I'm just dumb as bones and rats. But make a stabilizer. I know there's one. Just, just so I don't have to pull out yellows, just because I don't really feel like pulling out yellows. Down this way.
go. And the Omega Stabilizer's back, sweet. Alright, um... This, this dolphin's fin. It's a little beaten up, but it should still function. I make great strides in repairing the dolphin. With this, I should be able to fly it again. Even if I don't recover all 30 parts. Which is not true, but whatever makes you feel better, Ollie. Two more parts, and we'll be able to expand the, uh, the, the dolphin's functions. Which, you know, we're getting one more back, so we'll be up to 11. This is put a slightly odiferous exhaust, but it does pro propel me to escape velocity in an instant. The stench is a small price to pay for such performance. Alright, so I just gotta go back and pull away a few reds and we can get out. Literally get part 12. got that. What is it again? The gravity jumper. This anti-gravity device allows the dolphin to swim gracefully through the sea of stars like a... well, like a dolphin. I've now recovered 11 parts and I can find one more. I should be able to increase my ship's capabilities. I'm more than likely gonna have to split the stream up whenever... This one gets uploaded to YouTube, but you know what? I'm fine with that. Sunset, and uh, that's where I'm gonna call it. This is damaged. I'll be in dire straits. I'll have to run a system check as soon as I can. I have recovered 12 parts, increasing the dolphin's capabilities. 
My search can now cover a wider area. Now, yes, the sunset. I'd say we've done pretty well. I'd say we've gone pretty far and been pretty successful. The Wally Logs have sadly taken more Pikmin than I ever would like, but we haven't left a single one behind. Five days since impact. I have managed to increase the range of the dolphin. Looking from the dolphin's portal as it launches ever higher into the sky, I see a vast wetland in the deepest parts of the forest. I shall call it the Distant Spring. I can begin my exploration of it tomorrow. For now, I'm asleep. So we sprouted three and lost three and didn't really have a net positive or a net gain. We just kind of ran neutral. What? Yeah, no with that. Oh boy. We now have the distant spring open. We have almost all the parts of the forest naval. Almost all the parts in the Forest of Hope, and we're halfway done with the impact site. But, with that, um, I'd like to say this has been a very, very chill, very relaxed stream. It's a lot shorter than, you know, what I would normally like, but, I mean, I kind of don't have a choice right now. I, I'm very much beat. <laughs> but, with that, I hope you all have had a wonderful time with me. I very much had a wonderful time with all of you. We're going to pick up Pikmin again tomorrow. And more than likely, we're going to finish Pikmin tomorrow. Uh, we'll just have to see how the cookie crumbles on that. And then, um... More than likely, since I don't want to start Pikmin 2... Uh, depending on how well Pikmin 1, the rest of Pikmin 1 goes tomorrow, uh, we might end up being, we might end up having to put off Pikmin 2 until I get back from vacation. And, you know, I don't want to leave you guys hanging with like, oh, we just started and, you know, now we have to take a vacation. Um, we're gonna, we're gonna do something, if Pikmin 1 goes as smoothly as I'm thinking it will tomorrow, we'll see where things go. We might have a Smash Brothers thing. We might have a uh, Pokemon Shiny Hunt. Uh, it'll really depend on how uh, how Thursday stream goes. Well, not Thursday, uh, Tuesday stream goes. But with that, I'd like to thank all of you for uh, tuning in. And I hope you'll have a lo lovely rest of the night. And I shall see you all uh, 7 p.m. EST on Tuesday. Have a good one, folks. Later. Thank you.